Welcome to The Zest. I'm your host, Lindsay Smith, bringing you the best of health, home decor, and lifestyle. We have an amazing show for you today. It's all about health and wellness and making the most of your daily life. Everything from the dangers of sugar to how to redefine your Mondays so you're excited to go to work in the morning. We are covering it all today on The Zest. Up first, I want to welcome my first guest, Sue Brown. She's a health coach and author of the book, Simply Sugar Free. Sue lost 52 pounds in 52 weeks when she was 52 by conquering her own sugar addiction. After decades of low-fat diets and calorie counting, she is here today to share her story and why sugar is the new tobacco. So welcome, Sue. Thanks for coming. Hey, Lindsay. It's great to be here. 52 pounds in 52 weeks when you were 52. Yes. Okay, so how on earth did you do that? Well, you know, so I brought my friend with me today. So this is me as I used to be. <laughs> and um, I conquered my own sugar addiction. So I was a person who spent my whole life being frustrated by the fact that I would wake up and I wouldn't be able to get from breakfast to lunch without like ruining my diet. It'd be every day I'd wake up and I'd say, oh, it's gonna be different today, it's gonna be different today. And at 191 pounds, it never got better. It only got worse. Yeah. And one day I decided I'm going to conquer this. And you found out that it was sugar. What I realized is, yes, that it, for me it was sugar. And very specifically, only like half of sugar. So um, our brains are really kind of crazy things. So this is, it's actually my children's toy, but I like to use <laughs> it to demonstrate brain chemistry. Okay. And there are eight different neurotransmitter systems in the brain. Okay. And it's all very complex and complicated. And this one impacts that one, impacts this one, impacts that one. But once you have the knowledge to know what you're eating and what it's impacting, mm. you can change the way that your brain works and the way that it thinks. And then you can be successful. Awesome. So this is, so part of it, how does sugar play a role in the brain? Okay. So the biggest thing, and here I'd like to start with my, my little chemistry lesson yes. on sugar. I love the visuals. Yes, I know. So <laughs> uh, personally, I never took chemistry. I took uh, rocks for jocks as my science elective. <laughs> so this is a stretch for me. But sugar, when people talk about sugar, they're really talking about two things mixed together. So table sugar, which we're most used to, yes. you know, the white stuff that you sprinkle on your cereal or yes. whatever has a molecule of glucose, which is basically a good sugar, and okay, that's so why is, I make it green. Okay, this is the good sugar, and it's happy. Yes, it's happy. <laughs> and then there's fructose, which is the bad sugar. The, I call it the F word. The angry sugar. Yes, the angry <laughs> sugar. And the reason you need to know the difference is that glucose is actually, you digest it, and it goes throughout your body, and it sends energy to your brain and all of mm -hmm. the cells that need glucose. So it's basically a good thing. So you need this in order for this brain yes. to function. Okay. Yes. So now, this. so the bad thing. So fructose only does two things. It goes directly from the taste bud on your tongue. So fructose is very sweet, mm -hmm. much sweeter than glucose. So your, your taste bud receptor says, whoa, it sends this message to your <laughs> brain and it loves the fact that it's oh so sweet. And yeah. that is the addictive component of it. It's just this short circuit from your taste bud to your brain going, whoa you want more. Gotcha. The other problem with fructose is that your body doesn't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. So back when we were all cavemen, you'd have fresh fruit at the end of the summer and it would help you store up fat for winter. Gotcha. And so you would eat your fruit and, and you'd be fine. Mm -hmm. But now we have manufactured fructose. Mm -hmm. So it's not just in fresh fruit, which is actually pretty good. Yeah. It's in all these other things. So in all these other things, now what happens is this fructose goes straight to your liver, which doesn't know what to do with it. So it says, happy time. Mm -hmm. We're going to turn it into fat just in case we need it. So mm -hmm. people talk about belly fat, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And that's all about the fructose. The sugar. Yeah, yes. The sugar and fructose. Yes. Okay. So, the thing that I think is useful to know is that when you have table sugar, mm -hmm. they're bound together. So okay. it's always in 50-50. Gotcha. So that's just what it is. Now, manufacturers, and we should all just be really mad as whatever about manufacturing yeah. the food like manufacturers. Like fructose corn yes. syrup. Okay. Because what they're trying to do is they're trying to monkey with food, and they find the bliss point. And that's the point where we want more. The point of no return. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So they're looking for that. And like high fructose corn, corn syrup mm -hmm. is manufactured. And when you have high fructose corn syrup, it's more like a ball pit. So they can have as much as 95% fructose. So it's not like sugar, it's mm -hmm. worse than sugar. Some people also say that because there's not the chemical bond, mm -hmm. like with regular sugar, that the high fructose corn syrup is even worse 
than sugar because gotcha. it doesn't have to be broken down and the impact is faster. So what is one step, okay, if someone today is listening to this and they're like, I think I'm a sugar addict, what's your first step? So the first thing that you really have to do is educate yourself mm -hmm. because there are 56 different names for sugar. Wow, 56. I know, I know. And you, then you more than your 52. Uh, yeah, 52. I know. <laughs> and then you have to know, well, which ones of them are high in fructose? So if, some, if you have a health, uh, like a, a, a friend who says, hey, honey is the greatest thing, uh -huh. Uh, it may be for some people, and it may not be for you, because okay. for a person who may be addicted, it's not going to be a good thing. So educate yourself. Educating and really listening to your body. Yes. So you're really, you just start your day with protein is one of the most important mm -hmm. things because it helps keep your blood sugar even, which helps keep everything else evened out for the whole day. Mm -hmm. And walk. I walk an hour a day. Okay. So the simple things to do are make sure you eat breakfast, breakfast. with protein, take a walk, and then educate yourself. Because once you know what you can't have, mm -hmm. it opens up a whole world of healthy food that you can have. Perfect. And that's the secret. Yeah, I love that. Well, thank you so much for sharing. You're welcome. This was great. For more tips uh, from Sue, follow her on Instagram and Twitter at Simply Sugar Free. Stay tuned next as we have more coming up on The Zest.